Have you ever imagined a house being built within a house? This was my first impression when I visited this property. In our previous episodes in Design Seeds, we have always emphasized the beauty and impact of natural lighting in most of our projects. My name is Alex Lee and today we are about to reveal an astonishing hidden gem called the Concrete House in the township of Petaling Jaya, Malaysia. I think it has become a landmark and the community here start telling me about hey your house is a landmark I just tell people that there's a triangle house that they know where it is so it's interesting the first glance at the front right it doesn't differ from other houses until we walk into the house it is a very long house 120 feet and it also comes together with a courtyard and when we are at the back of the house, right, we are amazed by the monsoon drain and a large landscape that is at the back lane. Every morning, I wake up by the dawn light from the full height window. After I settle the baby with his milk, I will go down to the kitchen uh, to prepare the breakfast for the family. I like how the kitchen turned out to be how it connects with the nature. Yeah, it's not totally disconnected with the, the exterior. Since now it's CMCOs and I'm working at home most of the time, then what I will do is I just set up in the office, set my computer's laptop up. Then I start to see the first ray of light coming through the windows, the heat of the concrete wall. Then you start to change the ray of light following the time. For the amphitheater, we initially we wanted it to be a gathering space or idea sharing space because of uh, the nature of our uh, job. Both of us are professional architects, so I think it would be good that there is a, a group of designers or students uh, able to have a space for sharing purpose. The complaints from neighbors talking about we are building a church. It goes really, really serious that the officers from MBPJs actually drop us a, a formal complaint letter saying that you guys have to stop works immediately all your workers have to all go out that's because someone complains about the church formation or that It's not easy at all We had a lot of fight throughout the design process and uh, because both of us has our own idea to be implemented into our house uh, but I would say it's a very fruitful journey because we get to know each other better and I think there's also how the family bonding is uh, getting strengthened at the same time. It is very much developed from very childhood memories of mine that's living in the countryside where the leaves, the rains, all these things just come next to the windows. So that area is, is, is my little hideout, right? It's a place that I find comfort, I find peace. I think it's a little gem, a polished gem. When you enter this house, it has two functions. It has a function as an office, and it has a function of a living space. And this is particularly important today when people are being asked to work from home in the aftermath of COVID-19. It will prevail for some time to come. So the front of the house 
which is entered from uh, the main, main road, is a single story, small office for two people. And you enter the house into what is a large space, a double story space. Uh, and that doubles as a place for family gatherings. And it's, it's, almost, it's arranged almost like a little amphitheater. Next comes a open to sky courtyard. And this allows uh, the doors to be opened and fresh air to come in, to light to come in. Another very interesting way of getting light, in, they've left down both sides of the house a one meter gap. So you get, as you can see behind us here, daylight coming in to the, to the house uh, from the side. And also you open this window here and you can get natural ventilation coming into the bedrooms and the kitchen. It's, it's, uh, it's a superb bit of design. Here we are today, we're sitting in the kitchen and we're look, looking out at the rear of the dwelling. And the character changes dramatically. It becomes a two and a half story building rather than a single story building. So you get this duality in the dwelling. On this side, you've got the, uh, the, the public side. On this side, you've got the private side. And this wonderful spatial choreography between the two. And the spaces change. You go to spaces of compression, spaces of opening up and uh, expansion. And that's architecture. Earlier on, I mentioned about this feeling that this is a house being built within another house. Looking at this amazing structure with the window opening that separates the form of the architecture with the natural lighting gently spreading into the room with the window opening separating the form of the architecture. This gives me an impression of a larger home housing a smaller intimate home within it. This unique form is a glorious statement be it from the exterior or looking outwards from the interior. This open amphitheater may seem like an empty and raw space to most, but in the design language, this is what makes the architecture so beautiful. Its identity changes at different times of the day when the natural lighting penetrates robustly into the interior, forming unique beams of shadows casting into the space. This gives a refreshing memory of the space at every different angle. How you see the interior in the morning may reflect differently in the late afternoon. Imagine living in a home that transforms regularly based on the natural lighting and shadows. A steel staircase that is suspended from the second floor was designed to intentionally blend subtly within the red brick feature wall. The slim steel profiles of the staircase almost seems invisible against the strong character sharing brick wall. How the section of the home is designed tells you how much comprehensive thoughts were implied into this architecture. Standing at this steel structure balcony that was designed only with steel flat bars beneath that allows full transparency to look down to a planter box. And among these healthy growing planters, there's a circular feature that correlates all three storey of this rear side extension from the car park bay all the way up till the bedroom balcony. There was this phase that Oscar mentioned earlier, which was the industry is missing experimentation, and I couldn't agree more. All across Malaysia, and I believe all around the world, they are passionate and venturesome architects and interior designers that are ready to embark on a bold exploration in exploiting good design. And we require owners and clients to entrust this to those deemed worthy. This episode is a collaboration between Design Seed and Atelier International. And we hope to boost an awareness to the design scene. If you have an interesting project that you would like us to feature, please leave your comments below and we shall get in touch. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seat. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned to more weekly exciting episodes. Thank you for watching.